Wait, uh, let's see. Okay. What else? What else did Trump, what else did this debate bring out? Um, I thought the, the white supremacist little back and forth was enlightening, both in terms of the fact that Biden refused to criticize Antifa and claimed it didn't really exist. It was just an idea. It was an organization, which clearly it goes against the facts of reality, and he would not really, even when given again an easy one by, by, by Wallace, you know, just, just are you, you know, law and order. He could have easily said, I'm for following the law. I'm against riots. I denounce riots. I denounce looting. I'm against any organized form of this stuff. And if you call it Antifa and that's what it is, then I denounce Antifa. But he couldn't do that. But then, of course, what did Trump do? <laughs> Will you denounce white supremacists? Yes. Okay, do it. Tell me whom. <laughs> Tell me what. What should I denounce? And then he doesn't denounce it. Then he doesn't denounce it. <laughs> it was so pathetic. Here's here's the exchange. Let's 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 put this up. Let's see if I can put this up. Here's the exchange, right? Are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups? Trump says, sure. And to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in the number of these cities we saw in Kennesaw and we've seen in Portland. And, and he says, add to the violence, not initiate the violence. Add to it. All right. Should, Trump says, I'm prepared to do it. But I would say almost everything I see is from left wing, not from the right wing. I'm willing to do anything. I want to see peace. Then do it, sir. Do it, Biden says. What do you want me to call them? Give me a name. He said, but he, all he has to say is I denounce white supremacists. Wallace says, white supremacists and right wing militias. But he won't say it. So Biden says, proud boys. So Trump says, proud boys, stand back and stand by. But I'll tell you what, somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left, suggesting maybe the proud boys should. Should they stand by for orders about doing so? I mean, what the hell? Here's what I would have said. Let me just copy these. Um, here's what I would have said to a question like that. Of course, again, uh, here's what I would have said to Chris Wallace. Yes, absolutely, I condemn white supremacists, and any kind of right-wing militia that initiates violence in the streets of America. The violence, the violence perpetrated by Antifa and other rioters and looters should be handled by the police, should be handled by law enforcement, not by private citizens. You're not helping. And white supremacists is an evil, offensive ideology. It is un-American and is unbecoming to anybody. I would love to see, by the way, my fellow debater, Mr. Biden here, condemn the violence of the left. I would like to see him condemn Antifa. Those men dressed in black, you can see them on television almost every evening if you watch the right channels, who initiate violence all across America. All across America. And who he silently supports. I'm here to tell you, violent, militant, right-wing organizations have no place in my campaign, have no place in this country. They should be denounced, and if necessary, if they commit acts of violence, they should be disarmed and prosecuted. I'd like to hear Mr. Biden say the same thing about Antifa. Now, that would have been an answer. That would have been an answer. But no. There's nothing. And when he says, when he says, all the violence I know is from the left wing, well, I mean, really? The guy who shut up Walmart, was he a leftist on anti-immigration, part of the influence by right 
the guy who shot up the synagogue, was he Antifa or was he from the right? I mean, really, in terms of actual deaths, in terms of actual shooting people, the anti-immigration, the anti-Semites, the white supremacists have killed many more people than has the far left. Now, the far left does more rioting and looting, granted, and that's horrific. But you can't say, you cannot say that these right-wing groups, this right-wing ideology does not cause violence because it directly causes violence. Directly causes violence. Thank you, James. Really appreciate that. His first contribution to the show. <sighs> and this has been a pattern with Trump. I mean, he refuses. See, on occasion, in, a, in an interview somewhere, will denounce white supremacists. But when he's got the stage, when he's ad-libbing, when it's not off of a teleprompter, he is reluctant at best, avoids at worst, condemning violence on the far right. Now, you can criticize Antifa. You can criticize looting. And you can also criticize the murderous thugs that are associated with the far right. But he can't because he knows that to some extent he gets support exactly for supporting these kind of militias, these kind of attitudes, these kinds of ideas. Right, somebody's still denying that white supremacists have killed anybody? They do. Far more over the last four years. It's not even close in terms of the numbers. I encourage you to do the research. But if you add up the synagogue, two synagogues, one in California, one in Pittsburgh, if you add up the Walmart in uh, El Paso, Texas, and we could go, we could go on and on. As far as I know, uh, Antifa is responsible for the one killing in Portland. There are a few others here and there. But these are people who wrote manifestos when they committed the violence, attributing their violence to the cause of anti-immigration, white supremacist, Jew hatred. Causes of what are today the neo-Nazi far-right white supremacists. That's what it is. Church in South Carolina, I think it's 2014, so it's before, before the era. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show 
at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.